Don't make me walk this chopper. Big, big whip, you know we ride it. No place for you to hide in. Drop location and we slide it. Don't make me walk this chopper. Out. Don't IG flex, we cool and pull a hop out with them shoulders. Boy, you gon' make me do this, please. Please, please, please. Welcome back to the Plug House Podcast. I am your host, uh, host Mike Petterock, and as always, I got my co-host Train with me. Sugar Choo Choo, what it do, boy? And this uh, podcast episode is sponsored by Exclusive Empire Canines. You can visit them at uh, uh, on IG. Their uh, the, their link will be on the screen. And uh, t- today's guest, we got uh, we got LAM in the building, baby. Yes, sir. Hey. What's, what's happening? Hell man? yeah! Hell what's yeah! Good? Hell what's yeah. Good with it? Yeah, you know, I've been uh, watching you fellas uh, online. You uh, popped up a while ago, and then. Uh, 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 quite a few of the the um, artists that I respect were like, yo, L A M, L A M, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, man. yeah. Hey, hey, shout yeah. out to y'all, man. For yeah, sure. the the, uh, the 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 energy they bring. I watch a, a lot of the clips of the shows you guys got going on, and uh, and the quality of the music, and then the videos coming, and it's, and it's like it's uh the, the presentation overall, ten out of ten. Hey, you know, just. Love, just, love, just uh, uh, as, as, as long as the grind keep going, keep pumping, that train's gonna end up pushing itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Hell yeah, facts. ten out of ten, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's a big thing coming Damn. from him. Cause yeah, because he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's crazy. Hey, it, <laughs> it, ta- it takes a lot of components of uh, um, to, to put together a thing like that. One, uh, well, well, one man couldn't do it, do it himself. You know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, like man. you got it, It's when you finally got that. There's a big difference between when I was pushing myself as an artist. Um, just by myself, and then when I got on a team and had six or seven other people, and we're all pushing each other, yeah. the the growth is tremendous. Right, right, right. Wow, right. that's that's exactly what we did. I, mean, I started off by myself, and then you know, me, classic joined uh, joined me in trying to push what we feel because we all got similar backgrounds. We have love for the music, so when we got together, and then our brothers started, you know, we started to find, you know, what I'm saying, um, long live King Bells, my brother that just passed away. Yeah. Today. Also a part of the team, uh, he joined on, and Trey, and then Juice, and Sleep, and we just got together because we had the same passion and, and stuff for this music, so that's why we got together, and we just full throttle all the way through. So as uh, are any of you guys from the, the Capital Capital Uso group? That was uh, King Bell's. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, that okay. Passed, yeah. Shout okay. out to Cap U, man. Yeah, yeah, I got I got two uh, two memories with him, uh, a, a, a personal um, uh he came to the studio when he got out of jail in 2014, fresh out. Somebody had, uh, in jail re- recommended him to come by. He came by and he laid like three songs one day. And he's, he's got really good energy. Yeah, really, real good he's energy, a hype man. man. Man, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Long, yeah. Live, long live the king, man. Yeah, man. yeah. so shout, but shout out to him, man, yeah, yeah, and his man. family. Um, uh, the other the incident I had with, and it wasn't really an incident, but uh, uh, experience experience I had with him was on some street shit. Let me tell you what, I, I, I got a lot of respect for the Usos after that happened. Hey, <laughs> man, I tell you, that, hey, that should have changed your life. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, right, I, I, I don't even got to write this one down. I just yeah. never cross, never cross Uso. Don't, 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 don't do no Uso dirty. Hey, but. man, uh, I, I grew up around Bells, man. They they on that shit, you know. What yeah, I mean? uh, not not too much to say about it, but you know they on that shit. And, um, but a humble, but still a humble, they humble, and, humble yeah. good people. Yeah. They humble, man. Them, them all my brothers right there. So they 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 did what they you know what I'm saying whatever whatever it was, but they on some humble shit for sure. And so when uh, when did you guys decide to um like you know what let's let's put let's make something happen. Let's put this together. Man, when did you guys so be like take it serious? Like Bells, Bells was actually uh, after Cap U. They, you know, they they settled down. Um, Cisco had put everything together, so he started. It's something that you you wanted to do already for a while. Yeah, I mean, so I, f- I feel like with the hip hop scene besides Cap U, which was you know a little bit um, a time ago, there was nobody like that's what that looked like us. That was in the mm-hmm. hip hop scene, in the rap scene out here, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I try to find um, a good place to go as far as like studio to get my sound right. And I finally found somebody. And as soon as I dropped my first project, the love that was shown just off of that first one, because I was just trying to do it to have something to call mine. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. To get started. And then I was going to Is it your first it, one? Your first, pro- your first full project, period? Yeah, yeah, we riding. Okay. Um, in 2020. I was just gonna put it out there just to uh, have something of mine to call mine that, like, you know, 
I'm saying, to tell my kids. That I made I made this. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And then I was gonna, you know, drop that and it's just stop. I'm just gonna put it out there. But the love I uh You received from the from the yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It back. It yeah. Was crazy. So that's when I was like, you know what, maybe I can, you know what I'm saying, really push this and then classic was like right there with me, you know, right behind me and we got together and we did we shot the Note of Eyes video. There hasn't been no music video of us, you know what I'm saying, or our people out there. So yeah. once that hit that's what really kind of put that us on, blew, you know what I'm saying? That shit blew up. And it, it was like a, you know what I'm saying, a reminiscent song. Yeah. So uh-huh. that shit already hit a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, losing their loved ones and all yep. that. Yeah, and, and then seeing, like, us come out, like, finally come out and, and um, make a song like that, they like, Oh shit! And this was 2020, COVID. You yeah, know what I was saying everything was. Yeah, shit, man, motherfuckers so just dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like they showed a lot of love for that. So ever, um, ever, ever since then, man, we just we got together. And we just, you know, what I'm saying we just been pushing and pushing. We started off in the VFW. Yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, we started the first. In VFW. Hell yeah. yeah. I like that. Wow! Yeah, Shout out Buggy, by the way, man. Yeah, Hell man. yeah! Uh, I, I sold Buggy a mixer last uh, last summer. Yeah, yeah. Buggy wow. put us on the VFW for our. It was like a our first show, but it wasn't really a show. It, was it wasn't even supposed talent to be show fun. type thing. Yeah, Everybody okay. came together, did a little, you know, having. You got fun some stage time. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got some mic time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. our feet wet, and then we had our official, our official first show at Vans Dive Bar. How's that? We, we sold the alcohol out. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, <laughs> like, man. They, it got so tight. packed. That's it got tight. so packed. They were like, yo, we can't have nobody come back in because we don't have no more alcohol. Yeah. Y'all <laughs> sold us out. And I'm yeah. Like, yo, damn. Hey, yo. <laughs> they, they, they're a little, they're a little, a little bar, but, you know, that was our first time. That's that still was our yeah. first time, for sure. And then that yeah. girl, you, know, you guys had, definitely have a lot of uh, community support. Absolutely, and, and it's yeah. it's very important. And important. I've had it's some love. people in in my past be like, "How did you, how did you get that?" And I didn't understand what he was talking about. And he's like, "It's like the fan base. How do you, how do you get people to?" I'm just like, "You just got to stay consistent." That's fact. Just got to stay facts. consistent. People don't want right. to spend. Uh, um, it will, if 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 you're going to sell somebody a CD, they want to know you're going to be rapping in three years from now. That's right. So, so how'd you guys come up with the name and the and the logo? The logo fresh. The logo simple. Yeah, fresh. yeah that's a, that's the logo on the on the back of the whip back, out yeah. there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's clean. Um well, so it all started with a car club um, that uh our boy Sleep and then I had before we was even in the, the music thing. Okay. It was called Lost AK Riders. Mm. And you know, it was just a fuse of you know Los Angeles, California, where we from, or uh, where we're coming from, and out here. So it's kind of meshing the two. And I was just like, man, we gotta do something. We make music, you know what I'm saying? We a part of this car club. Yeah, we gotta have something to stick, like to attach ourselves to. Yeah. So when we was doing the music, it went from Los AK Riders to Los AK Music. So we have two things to, you know what I'm saying, put out yeah. there and show people. So yep. that's where the name comes from. It's just a mess of the two, you know what I'm saying? California yeah. and AK. Yeah. And so it's, it's a way to sell two different things. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. In two different yeah. places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, it's a lot of people from Alaska and vice versa in California, all up and down that West Coast, California, right. Arizona, right. Oregon, Washington, yeah. all up and down there. I was I was shocked when I went to Phoenix and motherfuckers was like, where are you from? I said, Alaska. And they've been Alaska, me too. But then, and I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, this yeah. is crazy. So how long have you guys been here in Alaska? You guys are uh, originally from California? Yeah, I'm originally from Long Beach. Came in 2012. Okay. I'm from Compton. Compton area, so. Oh, my. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're both like, how? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comp down from Park Village, Compton. So PVC, yeah, Park, yeah. And uh, uh-huh. I moved out here two thousand four with, with my whole family, and uh, we we all got put, you know, shelter. You know that that's how you start out here. Yeah, uh, we were in the shelter for a minute, and then um, we moved uh, we moved right on down to Woodside. That's Fairview area. Yeah, so. where it's all fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Side. Where it's yeah, all fair. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Is it still Shout a, out my mouth? You know, it's too, man. Is it still a, be, a better living condition? Having to go through all that and come all the way up here to Alaska, man, then from no, where you I come just, from. To be honest, um, Cali different. You know what I'm saying? It's different for sure. But for me, it, 
it's all the same shit. Okay. It's just, you know, being around different people, that's it. That's all. But but everything's the same, man. Like, I was in the projects out back home. I'm in the projects here when we get here. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. 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 So different, I'm just a different it. kind of project. Just, huh? Exactly. It's just mm-hmm. different people. How, you know. I think that's the, that's the number one thing that a lot of people don't understand. Everywhere got a hood. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere, yo. Yep. Everywhere yeah. got poverty. So, you know what I'm saying? Even like a place like over here, Alaska. Yeah, we sure came enough. From the hood to come back into the hood. You know yep. what I'm saying? Just a different but, kind of hood. Yeah, uh. it's a different it's kind, just a different of, hood, kind of hood. Facts. So you guys like it up here? I love it up here. I hate the cold, though. Yeah. Oh, me too. My but... soul. <laughs> me too. I hate the cold, <laughs> man. But I mean, if there was no cold, I'd love it like a motherfucker up here. <laughs> Um, Shit, I, yeah. I, love, I love the cold. I love the cold. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, sometimes it'd be it'd be good. It'd be revitalizing. You ain't lying, and other times I'd be like, like this morning, it's one degree outside. Have you guys spent any time uh, inside another local uh, music scene somewhere else, like Ooh. back in Cali? Um, well, me personally, my music my music journey started here. Started here, okay. That's why I put okay. Ray, you know, that's why I put Ray so hard. You know, even though I'm from Long Beach, yeah. My music started here. All my kids and that's highly respectable. Here, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I highly respect that. So Long Beach is on my back, but I carry Rage on my chest. Like, yeah, that's, uh. that's me too. Like my music started here too. Yeah, I started yeah. with the basic, you know, my own laptop, trying to get my own mic. Yep. I had nobody to go to studio wise professionally. That's when I met him, and um, he he guided me in the right direction. So that's why we're here now. Yeah. So you uh, uh, you guys know a little bit on, on on how to record yourself and things like that. Uh, a little well, bit, it, or it, 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 it's getting there. But um, I think what we wanted was if we was gonna come out and we, if we was gonna really do this, it had to be it had to sound right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people start off on, you know what I'm saying, on their own. I'm not knocking that. But if I'm going to come out, like how I looked at it, if I'm going to come out, it got to sound like it can belong on the radio. Yeah. yeah. It's got to you know be, be the best quality like I can make it. Mix, you know what I'm saying? It don't, a lot of people that's on SoundCloud, they doing their thing. But you can tell when, you can when hear it's the not difference. mixed. You yeah. can hear the difference. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I, knew, I knew that if I was going to do it, it had to at least sound somewhat decent yeah. for me to actually put it out there for people to listen to. So. And you said you only made, uh, you got the one album out and what, a couple singles? No, I have mainly singles and I only have one EP out that I dropped in January. Which had how many songs on? Five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and that one's on a little uh, positive note, like on a more uplifting type of vibe. Where'd you find studio hat that you like? Uh, Well, we started off with Tyler, ML Tyler. Um, that is. It's, he's a uh, engineer. It was he does it out of his basement to this day. Okay. But his knowledge of, you know, what I'm yeah, all engineering that engineering and stuff. He was going to school for it, so we were like kind of his test dummies. Okay. And he, he's definitely knowledgeable. But we started to, as we got into the scene and started networking and everything. Meeting some more people. Yeah. He was like, oh, everybody's, you know, what I'm saying, uh, there's yeah, hell other places to go. You know what I'm saying? We just we just didn't know, and I think that's a. a struggle with somebody that's coming up they don't know where to go they don't know you who gotta, to you, talk to you gotta go who. straight to a to a show yeah really exactly. that's the best thing exactly. you want to do is go to a show go to a show huh everybody's there huh the beat man the yeah. rapper yeah. The, yeah. the promoter yeah. everybody He's really there though too everybody yeah. that's so, crazy uh, as far as like when we started our journey like same thing what i do with him i try to you know give that same information to everybody else Oh, you can go here. You can go to this studio. You can go to this studio. Here's yeah. the information. You know what I'm saying? Here's where you can find beats. Make sure you buy your beats. You know, get up. Yeah, beats absolutely. Stuff like that. So, but now, yeah, you know what I'm saying? As as we progress and we learn, we try to spit that game to everybody else to try to get the AK scene up and popping because there's a lot of talent out here, man. There is. A lot. Yeah. A lot of talent. That's crazy. <laughs> Just because we have sleeping lady, don't mean y'all got to sleep, sleep on, on, on us. Yeah. 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 Come on, yeah. man. Say that, dude. So where's your uh, favorite place to perform? So far, out of all the places you've, you've performed. Shit, the best place I performed at was Willow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We would say Willow because, you know. Willow was nice. We started off from the VF, though. Yeah, yeah, like you, know you were saying, saying. Yeah, We eye level with it. It's cool too to to turn up with everybody, but when you got a stage like that, yeah, and you up that's elevated, one, yeah. and you start to you know what I'm saying it's it's definitely a different different vibe. feeling. 
Mm. We also hit the Egan Center too with Duckman and then shout out to Egan Duckman. Center, really? Shout out Duckman and them. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was an experience for sure. I know a lot of people finna see this podcast. So shout out to every event we pulled up on. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? Willowa was, you know what I'm saying, top notch. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they host stage, you know what I'm saying, performing. All that was fire. The layout of the building is pretty. Layout's is really nice. yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the building facts. is cool too. Yeah. And yeah, it, I like it definitely Willow. holds a good amount of people, and it's diverse. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, our people will slide too, but Willow is popping every weekend. Every yeah. weekend, homeboy. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So With, yeah, we get the people that's gonna already be there, and then they finally get to see some, you know, up and coming artists. So. Yep, and it's absolutely diverse. It's 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 just like just like Alaska. Everybody in that motherfucker. Yeah, everybody. Yep. Yeah, everybody trying to have a good time. Hell yeah. yeah. Shit. And the people that go out go out like that, they're going to come across Wall of Wall sometime throughout the night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. It's always, area, if yeah. I'm out that night, I make a stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you got to, you, you be dumb not to. It's the only place that, besides the trash night, that's a line to get in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a line. I mean, and it's cold outside, and motherfuckers be in skirts yeah, and, and, yeah. and button-up shirts and shit with no jacket on, standing outside doing this. I'll be like, I'll be yeah. like, wow, that's just crazy. Let me pull up in here. Man. <laughs> so in the, uh, in the, so far, well, since you've been in the music scene, what, what do you think that it lacks? Good question, Pedro. Question. Uh, I I would say uh, the promoting promoting side, of, mm. um, as far as um, promoting sh- different shows and events w- yeah, when when they of, happen. A lot of artists, a lot of good artists is out here. They don't they don't got a good promoting side. Yeah, and they try to push their own music by themselves, and they 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 for sure like that. Um, promoting side, so having a team behind them, a yeah. team behind all the drive sure. to do it themselves. Exactly. So I, like, I would, I would, I would say the um, the connection between local artists. Oh, we lack okay. that the support okay. of Ooh. one another. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that's, that's another good one. Because one. if if we coming out, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, we had a buzz, we have a buzz, but we try so hard to. Show everybody love, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you, you if you're, yeah, it. yeah. If you're you out there and you're getting it, you're fucking going above yeah, and beyond, so that's giving what it your all, not cutting corners. Yeah, yeah. Right. So if we see that, man, we we gonna show you love, man, because we on the same thing, we on the same tip. We trying to really do this and trying to get AK out there. And so I feel like if we if everybody came together to a certain extent. It would be a lot easier. You we know? all got to get on this sense. on a certain all just one one level and then go up from there because we, there's no way. I, I think in the in the ten years I've I've performed in in the, in the town, I I didn't get paid not once for a show. So I mean, and, and, that's and, love. And, though, right? they, yeah. come with, they come with that. That's though, love. You know yeah. So I mean, if we, everyone can get on a certain certain level, that, that, <laughs> then we could start that. Demanding something. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell Absolutely. Because yeah. you got to pay me or pay me. No, never mind. He fought it. Shit. We definitely feel that too. Hey, we, we on definitely the same tip. on that same tip for sure. So, but, you uh, know, we're, um, we're with the. Going out the strength. You were talking about uh, promoting, and I found these in, in this room earlier. And this is, um, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but, but these are on the uh, gas pumps at Holiday, right? They have these on them. Okay. Oh, right, you grab it yeah. right here, and I and I seen that one day. And I saw my sticker on it. This right here got me fifteen thousand hits in one summer on SoundCloud. Ooh, okay. And I was because uh, I got I got really into uh, guerrilla marketing, mm. L- lowest amount of money for this results, and uh, I started thinking of uh, locations where heavy eye traffic, heavy foot traffic. Where can I put these stickers so that the most God, the man. most people can see them? Oh, you hit the right spot then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holiday. Yeah, yeah, holiday. Yeah, holiday. Yeah. yeah. Right so this was one of the best best ideas I, I I came across as far as marketing and promoting. It, it it's done, and it's like uh, I didn't re- didn't really ask ask anybody. I kind of live by the uh, it's better to ask for forgiveness than to beg beg for permission. Mm, yeah. Right. Fuck if, I, yeah. If, if I went went down there and 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 uh, at every gas station and asked them if I could do this, they're gonna tell me no. Yeah. yeah. Every time. And yeah. uh. 
some of them will uh, like the the south sides will be a little more cleaner kept outside, so they'll take these off every other day. Mm. But then uh, you got the ones on the east side which aren't very clean outside. I only got to slap them up once. I don't yeah, ain't nobody worried either. about that shit in the Mountain View. But, <laughs> and, and, and for the the, the cost, it, it cost me to print a, print a sticker. And how many eyes are going to see that one sticker before it's pulled off? It's worth this money. Worth it. Yeah. Worth this money. It's definitely. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, shout out to you. Doing, yeah. Doing work, so. Shout out to you. Yeah. Shout out to I'll be trying to tell people, man. I'm like, this is this is what's worked for me. Hell yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's and it's hard. hard. All right, it ain't easy, huh? Hell no. <laughs> and there was a, another uh, thing I read in the book was like a, a brand new product presented to the public needs to be seen on average of 27 times before a person makes a subconscious decision on purchasing that brand new product. Mm. So that told me, okay, I need to put my flyer in front of your face 20, at least 27 times yeah. or 100 times before. Yeah. Before you even think, but don't think about getting it. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. About hitting the link, watching the video, doing doing whatever. The science. Now, uh, the science. uh. <laughs> Uh, they don't know. That video is dope. The song is dope. I lo- I, 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 they don't know. That's what it's called. Yeah, that sound hard. Yeah. Oh, the um, uh, that's a song. Uh, we don't have a, there's no there's not a video for that one. It's on your Instagram. I went through your whole Instagram uh this morning and yesterday. I was wa- oh, yeah, watching no, all the shit. Yeah, that. I saw you did the song with uh, with your pops, right? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no. Oh, th- th- there's that one and the other one with the uh. Don't want it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the newest one. It's got a partial talking video. About out. Juice. Talking about Juice. Talking about Juice soon. Oh yeah, don't, don't want, want it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We that was our recent video. Yeah, that. Yeah, that one. Dope, dope. The, uh, like you're talking show. about the, 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 the sound, the sound oh, quality, yeah, yeah. matching with the visual. It's, it's all. It's all there, fellas. Is it? It's, it. All it's all there. Appreciate it. Oh it's my there. god. It's all, it's all there. Wow. Yeah, the presentation. Uh, the crazy thing about that video was. Um, Bell's already passed, right? Right. So um, the editor, the videographer, shout out T-Mash, he incorporated old clips. That he had? That we have of Bell's. Performing that song. And made uh, it look like he's actually. Like he's in doing the video? it. In the video. That's hard. That's smart. Hard. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Hard. Fuck. That's tight. Like yeah, it's... man. That... Shout out to you, T-Mash. And the king, <laughs> and the king lives on. And the king lives on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, too, man. T Mash, uh, fuck. What, last time he, he touched down here, he he jumped on the scene with his camera and, and hooked everybody up and got just. Got that might be work. who's doing yeah. that right got now. Is that he was knows. that recently? He did that? No, no, he did this. Uh, he's back in like where does he live? Out in Texas? He's in Texas. Yeah, yeah, he's in Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got a wife and a, and a baby now. Oh, okay, because somebody else was here doing that. And but he yeah. does that. But that com- that yeah. computer back end, all the camera yeah, he work. Do he that he do that, do that for real. Yeah, he good. Uh, he wow. Good. He yeah, yeah. Magician with it, man. Yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> yeah, what? like movie level type shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with the all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey, hey. Shout out to Jackson too because he also helped with that video. Yeah, that was uh, uh who's here last week? Yeah, Black yeah, Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, wonderful. Oh, Black yeah. Jackson. Hey man, pull up on us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. we need they said, he's uh, very knowledgeable uh, too, huh? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah, he's yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in the, in the, in this day and age, what do you think it takes to uh, to avoid being a broke rapper? Oh, I would say confidence. Being confident. Yeah, because. There's a lot of there's a lot that come with being confident. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to speak. You gotta know. You know what I'm saying? There's certain type of uh, lingo's and stuff like that that you have to do when you're networking. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? There's you're right about of, that. Yeah, you can't gotta just, be open minded. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So from a place like us, we can talk regular, you know, to the homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but when it comes down to business. Kind of switch it up the tone, you know. Yeah, saying? yeah. <laughs> shit, t- shit, change yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Professional, all, all you know. Tuck your shirt in, man. Type shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. I, I would, I would say confidence, man. Because if confidence and passion. Hmm. Because if you have both of those, you you definitely gonna make it, man. But uh, one thing about passion is it gotta be a thousand percent. Yeah, it's gotta be all the way yeah, in there. You gotta yeah. bring it, huh? You know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be a lot of no's. There's going to be a lot of, 
you know, bumpiness in. This. Yeah, do- some, there's some doors that are not going to open for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got to get to a whole bunch of no's till you finally get that one yes, Sam. And you got to kill that shit. Right, you Fuck yeah. That shit for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, I feel like that's a, that's one thing that newcomers or, you know, up and coming artists got to, got to realize is, you're going to have a lot of no's. Yeah, yeah, and you know what I'm saying? There might be an event where it's going to be like 10, you know, 10 to 20, 30 people. You got to show them, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. same vibe you will give if it to was a thousands. sold-out crowd. Yep. Because that 20, 30 people is going to be in that sold-out crowd. Yep, show sure enough. You got to keep doing that, man, and that confidence, you really got to have that. Yep, true. Them, I feel like them 20, 30 people is going to tell, each one of them is going to tell 10 at 15 least. people. Yo, that shit was lit. You know hey, man, saying? he was rocking the crowd. We was yeah. in there. Woo! Man, I, man, I'm yeah. trying to tell you, I, I lost weight in there. I was moving so much. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, I'm going to go next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. for sure. That's Word of mouth is the biggest marketer that there is. And it's it has best. been Facts. Since, Facts. The, since the beginning of time. Yeah. Because, I mean, I might see something. I see the, the shit on TV. Somebody trying to sell me something. But if this dude tell me, hey, man, that shit you works. should go and get this. Yeah. Nine point eight times out of ten, I'm gonna go grab that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when you grab it, you're gonna be like, "Oh, John told me to buy this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. He said it's the yeah. shit. Shoot, mandatory. So if uh, if a major label uh, approached you for for a million dollar deal for five albums, are you taking it? God damn, That's it's kind of it's kind of iffy, man. There, there, there's definitely, obviously, there's a lot of conversation when it comes to. You know, deals and stuff like that. But uh, I just want to know if you were going to take a deal. I don't think you're going to take the deal. Nah, I don't. I, no. I, I, I wouldn't say. I would. for sure wouldn't take that. Not with the five we got right now. Mm. Um, it, it's a little more difficult, you know what I'm saying, with the group um, trying to take a deal like that. But um, that's a really, actually, a really bigger commitment when you got that many people involved. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They, and they, everybody uh, has to agree. There's not yeah. only five. And still has to put in work saying? there. Yeah. There's not only five of us, there's five and families. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, really five families. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then that offer w- exactly. wouldn't have been enough. So, five no, five albums enough. for $1 million wouldn't have been a good deal anyway. I just want to see if you guys are going to jump. Yeah, take it no, or not. No, no, no. I don't know. They threw the money at you. It's just, like I said, it's just tricky with that. You know Do you think uh, um, having a record deal is a big is a big deal nowadays, or is it, is it pretty much over for 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 record companies? I think it's half and half. I think uh, being Depends. obviously it, it, being signed, they give you that. You know, what I'm saying you're definitely going to be talked about. Yeah. You that know, exposure, that they're, marketing. Yeah, but they're taking more in your pocket, though. They're taking yeah, more that's, more that's, of your money. That's the only thing, so. If you're a solo artist, for sure. That's yeah, if thing. you don't have yeah, a, have a team or anything. If you get the right paperwork. You know what I'm saying? If you get the right number. But as far as group wise, nah, I don't think so. I think I think um I think you can make it big with just being a group if you if you do it right. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the the, the problem with, with, with the group like you guys uh, have here is uh and you guys can definitely relate is getting everyone on the same page all the time. Right. Staying on the same page for a long time. When I was <laughs> when, I, when I was with uh, 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 with LME for a, a, a couple of years, man, let me tell you what. That's like seven, eight, eight people in this group, and getting us all to, to show up to all the events every single time. On had, time, yeah, yeah. Within the same thirty minutes, ready to go, or oh, this person can't get a babysitter. Oh, so and so's girl girlfriends fight fighting with uh, this is going on. Oh, this guy can't make. He don't have a car. It's like so, that. So, God, but oh. you need everyone to show up. It's really like that. Yeah, it's really like that. Man. But, but when so. you when you all show up on time and you're in the parking lot before you go inside, it's, it pre- presents the the best look you can get as a group for your brand for for everything yes. you got going on. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of work though. The more, the more motherfuckers you get, you get stacking really up in the is. group. It really is like we'll fuck around like. We'll go through all of that shit, but you know, like when we're all there, yeah, and they see us walking together, they're like, "Oh yeah, shit!" They were, yeah, then we're here. You can feel the it. Motherfuckers hit. Feel good. And then it. when we <laughs> rock the fucking show out, yeah, the motherfuckers are like, "Oh yeah. shit!" Yeah. Yeah. The like, energy, damn. Yeah. The energy, energy's crazy. It's but energy. yeah, nah, there be hella problems. <laughs> That's hella problems wild. and shit. But but you know, we try our best to fight through that shit. I feel like every group go through that. Hell yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You're dealing with a 
a handful of individuals at one time. That, that, that's why uh, bands uh, bands break up a lot faster than the solo yeah. waters because you got so many people's different lives growing and developing at different times. Uh, yes. It's hard to keep everyone on the same, yeah. you know. Yeah. So uh, bands like uh, uh, Metallica or ACDC, you see them fucking doing 40, 50 years on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just crazy yeah, to me. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> what? That's just crazy. That's the me. longevity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got some magical shit going on. No, that so is it, craziness. <laughs> so I think uh, how we leeway that is we're still are in, you know, each individual artist. Yeah. I'm still dropping stuff. I'm about to drop some under Baby Cisco. Okay. And then we're also working on dropping stuff under LAM on some NWA Wu-Tang type shit. Okay. That sounds you know very okay. interesting. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> wow. You know, we're all working on our individual stuff, but we're always okay. a group. Yeah, we're always together. That, that was my next question. Is it are you guys just a collective of people that all that all make music together? Poly poly wise, you, you guys just make make music on your own and then you collaborate together. It's just a collective. That second part, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 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 the second, second part, part. basically yeah. a collective. So yeah. before um, before we all got together, there was really only um, before Bells got back in because Bells was doing music. Yeah, myself before, but uh, out of out of the six, it was really me, Cisco, Trey, and Sleep actually was doing some some of his music. Is that the too. Sleepy Sleepy Time or Sleepy? Uh, um, the one I see on one of this uh, videos on YouTube, Sleepy's. Uh... No, it's just Sleepy. Nah, it's just oh, sleep. somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you know, out of out of the group, it was just really me, Cisco, Trey, Bells, and sometimes Sleep doing a doing their own uh, music, other than. LAM music. Okay. Um, but it's all the right same. Now, it's like, all it's all together. It's all it about all building. All it's all about building that umbrella. Yeah. You guys got the umbrella. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we try. We try to do that. And just for you guys, just so everyone knows that Polly is Nisian, not amorous. Nisian. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Shut that straight. Yeah, let's just quick. go ahead and get that yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about oh. polygamy? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Those are crazy <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> yeah. So who uh, uh who are some of your favorite uh, local artists that you see perform that you see active in the city? Which ones do you like? Hell yeah. Man, I feel like with us, man, if you're doing a thing, we fuck with I got you. a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. God, no. I got a lot. FOE doing their thing, man. First and oh. foremost, yeah, uh, them, shout out them my young boys, homie. right? Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, them young boys. Young shout boy. out to yeah. bro, uh, Fairview Huna and Bear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like the third, thing. fourth time I heard him. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. They uh, doing it, man. Know, I fuck with Sule. Big, big shout out him. to Sule. He, doing, he been doing this thing, though. Yeah, he's like, uh, his, his veins are in, out here in, in the... In the music scene, it's crazy, yeah. like yeah, yeah that's his crazy. Battle rap, shit. oh my god, yeah, that too. He does it all, man. He's just, uh, he's, he's, he's just <laughs> yeah. a, remar- a remarkable human being. Uh, uh, of man, course, that's of, a gang, man. Of course, the two, you know, what I'm saying that's really taking it to the lower 48s, Tay and Duck. Yep. See, I'll be saying? trying to tell people, man, the, the, those two right there are, are the ones going, going the hardest, going Tay right Tarantino, yeah, facts. the, the right, right way, way. yeah. You know Tay Tarantino, he he. Blowing right now. Yeah, he's so, doing he, he, and his growth. His growth from his his last three albums to where he is now. You can see the difference, huh? Wow, it's bro. crazy. Yeah, it's, it, it's yeah. crazy. His brother right there too. Yeah. Tay. Mm. There's, there's a lot of uh, hard up and coming artists that we try to show love to and put on our shows when we do it and try to get them out there. Um, like Cody Banks, you know what I'm saying? Our Laos brother, Asian brother is coming out of here. Shout out Cody uh, Banks. No Saints. Doing their thing, Cody you know Banks. what I'm saying? Keola. So we definitely trying to get out there. I think Keola, uh, Keola's one of the people on our list. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Hey, he, he does a lot yeah. of big show, uh, bigger shows. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's with uh, Bad Agenda. Shout out Bad Agenda. Okay, yeah. 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 Huh. There is a, a couple in Fairbanks, too. We got, oh uh, yeah, there trop, is chop top, chop top, Teddy man. Hey, if you Shout want bars, boy. if you want that old Ooh, school yeah. bars, man, he chop man, man, he he fire top. with the bars, man. Yeah, let me go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. find him out. Yeah. Right. Hey, yeah. sh- pull him up for sure. Just because that Who shit else? is top hard. Teddy, top, top. Who else from hey. Fairbanks you got? Um, it's on your radar. Obviously, Alaska Red for sure. Okay, Alaska Red for sure. He 
Man, I can you seen name, one of his name first. people on here? It's okay if you if you can't. I wonder if you can you name any of these people on this picture on this cover. That's obviously that's Alaska Red, obviously. Alaska Red. Um, damn, what's bros? Uh, Damn. <laughs> That's Raw Beats with uh that's what he, he's a bad agenda. Yeah, oh, raw, man. Raw for sure. Actually I can't even do it because it's animated, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. I know him with the short hair. <laughs> okay. There he is. Drop top okay. teddy. Yeah, the frozen Samoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's out there in Fairbanks, huh? Yeah, man. That's crazy. Samoan, That's huh? a hard ass to drop top teddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah That's okay. hard. I'm at this. Yeah, right, and right now he um he messes with uh Alaska Red right now. Yeah, Since he's out that way. That's smart. Trap mm-hmm. top hard. Sure. That is smart. And I think um, even with Trap, you know what I'm saying, he got the bars, but he, he got bars. He huh? don't know where to go or like you know what I'm saying. But and he he, he, he went to the right person. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. For sure, yeah. Exactly. And even he know that. You know. But he got bars, huh? Yeah. He got bars for sure. Got bars for days. That's good. That's good. I like, I do, like bars. Do you think that? Uh, you know do you think the hip hop game today doesn't doesn't care about bars? Like the climate it's in, in right now? Man, right now, I think uh, the, the melodic shit is really trending. Um, I feel like a lot of people are listening more to the melody than the lyrics. But, man, you still got a gang of motherfuckers listening to lyrics. Always. I respect the bars. Uh, I respect, respect always. The bars. Yeah, good bars, and, too. And good bars, too, for sure. Like... They're they're still they're still a gang. Of them. Yeah, I I be listening to something new and I come across something I'd be like, <gasps> start over. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, this this day and age is definitely on ram, not rap. Mm. What is that ram? Uh, rhythm and melody. Oh, okay, good. You could tell that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 rhythm yeah, and melody. Rap is huh? Rhythm and poetry, but right now today's days, if you got a cool melody and you're saying a little bit of stuff. It's gonna get, yeah, you just gonna get, gonna get play, some vibe, you know huh? What I'm yeah, it'll get some, some airtime. The, the, the underground <laughs> scene, the underground scene. <laughs> That's some bullshit, man. It's like some trash out there. <laughs> it gets passed out. How I do it, man, is uh, if I know your shit ain't bars and it's melody, rhythm, and melody, mm-hmm. I'm gonna just fuck with it for the rhythm and melody. For know? the okay. melody, huh? But I'm not here. I do have my shit that I fuck with bars with. You yeah, know for that the. I listen yeah. to like, oh shit. Just for because you fuck with it, just because the melody like, is cool or whatever and exactly, the vibe is that, cool. That's how, that's why I, I dig that's it. How I do it right there. Because the underground scene, like, you know what I'm saying, with battle rapping and people that. It's huge too. That's is where I it? go for my bars. If you I want to hear saying? some fucking bars, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, play really? some bad. Fuck, they're nasty, bro. Shit, How often are there battle raps? Oh, like here in town? Yeah, like in, uh, in yeah. Uh, maybe oh, once, shit. twice a year, maybe. Sule, huh? That's it. Well, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, huh? Sometimes, yeah. And, and during my era, yeah. Charles heavy. Dufresne. Yeah. Hmm. Shout out uh, Charles, man. That's my dog. Only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's good yeah, people. That's my dog. Man. Absolutely, man. I would think, man. You know, the people that's doing this stuff, they need to reach out to us so we could so, that's so we like could come and represent about, uh, such about promoting about the promoting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reach out not to connecting somebody. Connecting to the people that that need to get it to. Yeah, because we are we all in the same boat right here. Exactly. Uh, I think the last uh, the, the last couple uh, battle events that. That we did we did have. I was up, I was up north. I couldn't I couldn't go. You couldn't go. I want. But if I was in town, I would have went. We would have went. We we would have went. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. We yeah. Been there. Showed it's up. Really good. Oh, yeah. My it's, it, and it's good, healthy competition. It's it's really sad that the the local scene gets a lot of uh, shade for crime and violence when uh, there is a, a a a large group of collective people that come together and this is this is their passion. This is what they do. They're not here to bullshit. Right. They're uh, like you guys are here on time, punctual. Boom. Business. <laughs> I fuck with that, baby. Business. I, I fuck with that. Business. Business. Yeah. I, I was going to ask, has, okay, because you're from Long Beach and you're from Compton. It has, um, how do you say that? Uh, fuck it. Has, <laughs> uh, has colors interfered in your rap progression? On the outside looking in or as, on the like, inside? Personal- yeah, you, you, you know what you know. Hindsight or even whatever, <laughs> has it affected your progression or your ability to deal with certain people or you know what I'm saying? Do, does that does it does it fuck with your money? So I would say 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Where we come from and you know that's what I'm what I asked. Politics is definitely different. Yes, they are. But we know who we know who who we is, huh? Yeah, we know who we is, <laughs> yeah. but we, we know who to look out for. And word. I would say like that color shit. Yeah. It don't really mean nothing because you're supposed to rep where you're from. Right. You know what I'm saying? So no, uh, we don't see it any other way. We know who to look out for. Word. But nah, that color shit, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you, you're supposed to rep where you're from, but when you rep where you're from, do that shit over there. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's different. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go home and scream about home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the, the, it's crazy though. Like when he, when he say that, because there's a lot of people that um, red flag us for you know what I'm saying being from those you know what I'm saying being from yeah. different sections. Mm -hmm. But then like they'll look at us and be like, man, don't bang that LA shit out here. You know what I'm saying? LA, LA back home, whatever. You know? Yeah. Like, we like we'll we'll come out and be like man like we rep it because we from there because that's, that's where who we you from. are yeah that's we that's part of me there, but, you yeah. know what I'm saying I'm not trying to bring L A here yeah and make this a whole L A section you know what yeah man? I hear what you're saying I just rep it because so basically what I hear is that people get misconstrued about you talking about where you from and who you are and then they try to make it seem like you is trying to bang on them or something. Yeah, that, that's just, pretty like much what related. it is. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. yeah. Come on, man. Get, that's pretty much get what your it life is. together, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a real yeah. motherfucking yeah. problem. Yeah. That's, that's why that's why um, we all came up with that lingo um that we stand by is peace, love and positivity. Yeah. But don't get it twisted. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 better try Jesus. Yeah. I see, uh, you, you guys just spread a lot of positive, uh, uh, positivity and, and, and love for sure. Yeah. yeah. She's got good energy. Yeah, That's man. really, yeah, yeah, man. We true. try to keep that energy, man, but, like, you know, our beef is different. You know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. It's always, it's always going to be somebody because uh, where there's dark, there's light, and where there's hot, there's cold. So where there's positivity, there's going to be some knuckleheaded fuck. Right. Doing some bullshit. <laughs> so get back oh, yeah. to your question though, uh, with the colors. I I came from a neighborhood that you know what I'm saying oh, obviously know. all blue. I know I visited. You know what I'm saying? So and I and I grew up out of that. Uh, yeah, I, I bang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you grew shit. grew up. And so when for me being you know what I'm saying Park Village Crip, whoop de whoop, whatever, right? I come out here, I have a gang of blood homies. I fuck with blood homie, my blood homies yep. out here. You know what I'm saying? So for people to try to like put me in a position or a, a category where, oh, he grit, he blood, they don't fuck with you. You have to do this and you, you must be to, like that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I fuck with a lot of my blood homies out here. So yeah. it, 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 get, it gets mixed up, but when they see it, they like, oh shit, like he fucking with blood, blood and shit. What yeah, I feel like those like, people yeah. just don't those, those those people are on the outside looking in. Yeah, yeah. they've never yeah. been inside the fish. Yeah, ball. you don't know what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're just yeah, you see some shit on a movie or something and you you're like you know what's going on. <gasps> yeah, get out of here. Facts, man. You know what I'm saying? But I do stay in my own lane. Hey, and I really tell you the truth, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Because right. ain't no bumpers out here. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no bumpers. Just in my lane, but yeah. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Is, <laughs> Show no. All right, fellas. So uh, uh, what do you got to say to the rapper who does not buy beats? Oh. Hmm. Man, keep that shit in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep that shit on your phone. Don't play it out loud. Nah, I'm joking, man. <laughs> but, uh, hey, man. Uh, shit! Shout out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Now buy your beats for real. Yeah, because uh, can't you won't be able to play that shit on the radio. You know what I'm saying? No free beat, huh? You, yeah, you, man. You, you will be able to post the shit, but it gets cut off on you know a lot of platforms. So especially use of a popular beat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's not beats. worth it. It's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, it comes down to how you, how serious you take this. You know what I'm saying? If you take this serious, you know you got to buy your beat, man. Uh, you know what I'm you saying? Know, you know you yeah, got to buy want, that. If, if you want some kind of return on your investment, you're going to have to. Exactly. You got to invest. Exactly. You got to, yeah. It takes money to make some money. Hell yeah. That's how you avoid being a broke rapper. Yeah. You know, have a job. 
You, man, I tell you, some <laughs> shit is age old as time, huh? Yeah. Takes money to make money. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Well, uh, what do you think a beat should cost? Yeah, what's like fair a, for a beat? Say, like, like completely, like what you personally think, if I, if I made a beat, you liked it, really liked it enough to pay money for it, what's the most you want to pay for a beat? Before that, you before that's like that's outrageous. <laughs> I'm not paying fucking three thousand dollars for a fucking beat. You're yeah, tripping. I wouldn't do that unless it came from. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think an artist can can even answer that. Like, really, because it should be up to the producer. Well, I mean, and it is, but you're also the consumer. So, what are you willing to pay for a beat? Shit, I'll mm. answer that, man. Fuck, I I pay up to good motherfucking one hundred fifty dollars for one. Yeah, for one beat. That motherfucker better slap, though, huh? It better slap. Yeah. But, but my whole thing is like, if that song blow, because yo, 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 lyrics and that beat, yeah, he gonna he coming with you. He coming with us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He 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 gonna no, yeah. he better take, yeah. better take yeah. that one fifty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, take that one fifty and come get this one point five. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, to be honest though, it depends on the uh, producer because if you fuck with each other. I think your personal producer should just give you beats. He should be yeah. dumping on you. He should be dumping that shit on you. Whatever he's gotten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if you don't know each other and you got to pay for the shit, pay for it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure that shit slaps. See, but that's where you find somewhere that you can, that, you know, somebody you fucks with, somebody that fucks with you. Because right. you might have to pay for those first two, three beats. Yep. But after the third time, you a homie's going to be like, yeah, yeah he's going to be like, hey, man, this motherfucker keep coming. I like his sound to do. Hey, here you go. Here's 10 exactly. for you. Exactly. The producer got to fuck with you for that. Exactly. For that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the artist just got to make it slap, man. Like, you got to be really, that goes back to being passionate about it. You got to really put your all into that shit. Because you yeah. paying for the damn thing. Yeah. You be a fool not to. You be a fool not to. Yeah. <laughs> you buy that beat and just go there and put on some tuna fish on that you motherfucker. Oh, God, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Just slapping it on the beat. You fuck around buy a, a $500 beat exclusive. Ooh. You going A, B, C, D, yeah. E, F, G. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like... Hey, the producer's just going to look at you like, you bought it, man. Nah, it's yours. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yours. You do what you want. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you got to be passionate about it, man. You just got to really put your all into that shit. Like, $250, if you buying a beat for over 150 you got to put it all in. You it. ought to. See, yeah. yeah the, the, the reason why I say it just depends is because you going to pay, like, if you, if you got it, you going to pay for a Dr. Drake beat. If you can, you will. Yeah, you know Cause that might be the motherfucker to Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you right. It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. You know what you're getting. Yeah. But that then you got man. motherfuckers who not who not Dre and they be like, ah man, I need five hundred dollars. <laughs> what? That's rent, bro. Yeah. Hey, it's like that though. If you want exclusive beats, probably yeah. it's probably a hell of a lot more than that. For real? Bro. Yeah. I yeah. got hit I got hit yeah. with a rack. Yeah, for a for beat. one. For one, he playing exclusive, yeah. and I looked at him. I was like, "All right, I took." His was it beat. fire though? Was it fire? I took his his beats are fire. He from uh, Russia. Okay, a homie from Russia. So I'm like, his beats are fire. I took his beat without paying for it, and I recorded over it. Yep, and I sent it to his ass. He was like, "What the fuck? Like Ain't it? nobody ever sounded like that on my beats." So he mm. lowered that shit to two fifty. That's what I'm talking Hell, about. Yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all yeah. right, I can work with two fifty, but yeah. you trying to slap me with a rack for the like, band, though? Oh, I'm not it. even. I'm for not even heat. rich like that. Yeah, my stop dog. it. Like, yeah, stop it. Stop it right yeah. now. Like, I'm still trying to make it out. So shit. you know what I'm saying? Like, it was cool though. That beat, that fire. beat was fire, huh? Yeah. Do you feel like it's really uh, it's it's worth it to find a buddy who who makes the beats? <laughs> You're so funny, yeah. a buddy. Somebody, a friend, <laughs> for sure. a pal, somebody who believes in it, you it's know. It's worth it, for sure. Yeah. Um, ML Tyler, who we've been going to, he makes beats, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's more of an engineer. He's more of an engineer. Mixing and mastering. Mixing and mastering and recording. And recording. So he records our shit. Yeah, the back end. And, and um, you know what I'm saying? Like, Is your guys' relationship with him, like, uh, in the studio? Good? And like, we he, brothers, man. Like, you guys are talking, he's like, okay, I understand, and he... Hits the boards and he says, yep, sounds like, just, yep, okay. Yeah. Hey, I will say he go overboard that's a little. That's just important. <laughs> yeah. He go overboard <laughs> hey, a little. Hey, hey that's Tyler, good, you though. Go overboard, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's good, though. Hey, that's good, though. Everybody that we sent to him, they know what we talking about, man. Okay. Yeah, but but yeah. we put him on game, though. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to brag off of, you know what I'm saying, putting him on game. But, you know what I'm saying, we we brought a lot of talent to, to his, you know what I'm Yeah, to his location. Hell yeah. And, and so he... You know he, what that's like, huh? Popping. Yeah. Yeah. He low key popping, so... Yeah, yeah, nah. For him, for him to do, like, our music... We, we go a lot of places, but for me, personally... I feel like I, I rock better with Tyler. Yeah, it, so. it's, it's always good to, find, to have a home base where, where you're at. It's like right. if, if somebody hit me up was like, "Hey, let's uh, uh let's do a song. Can you come over in the studio?" And I show up and I'm walking to their bedroom with five other dudes sitting on a bed and something in the closet. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna be able to sit here. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not about to be able to sit here on the bed with these motherfuckers and write a verse right now. It's not. It's yeah, not no. It's yeah, no. Right, Especially yeah. if I don't know them. No. Nope. Yeah, no, because nope. I'm gonna be sitting here looking at every last one of y'all, yeah, making I'm sure not. I don't get snuffed. What is a uh, uh, that's facts though. What 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 are the three things you need you need to hit the studio? If you're going to uh, going for studio time, what are three things you need to take with you? If you paying for studio time, gotta be prepared. Your lyrics, water. That's gotta be you. Well, hey, I don't know, I don't know um, about water, but I think that's just a big boy thing. Water and, um, and uh, mm-hmm. shit. Be consistent with how you you know go in and handle your job. Uh, shit. Well, no, what, water, what, huh? what, what, what do you need? Oh, personally, yeah, yeah, that's what I was asking, yeah, baby. What do you uh, need? Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, you, yeah. He need icy, a blunt, shit. and, uh, <laughs> and uh, shit. Me, man, water, hella water. Um, right, not right on, big nigga nation. My, my lyrics, you know what I'm saying. And you got your shit on the phone, or you got it on paper? I got it on my phone. You you read it off the phone? I read it off my phone. For Look, sure. I can't do that shit. I gotta I gotta put it on paper. Old school, oh, yeah. old school. Yeah, I can't do the read from I the feel phone it. thing. It's I weird. Feel it. I'm not my, my older brother rap. He do he he do a lot of writing with the writing. Shit. Yeah, and he he for sure do it on paper too. It's some it's some to this day. Uh, something with me like it, it's a memory thing because if I got it and I, and I wrote it down. It locks it in twice in my brain, so it's easier to memorize. Yeah. And when, when I when I hit the booth, I gotta I like to have it all here. I don't need the paper. I need I need it so I could put all my emotion and everything right. I got into it. Right. Knowing what I'm saying, huh? knowing what I'm saying, I don't like mm-hmm. to read to read it off the paper. I like to. That makes sense. So I I always have to write it down. I can't do it off the off the Most phone. Most of the time, I, I I be like, if I have hella time before studio, I'll I'll memorize that shit. And so when I when I memorize it, I just go in that bitch. Oh, the headphones on. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. yeah. I, I could just time. imagine the energy <laughs> when all five of you guys are in that <laughs> studio. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Crazy. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Crazy. What do you need? Yeah, what do you need? Three things you uh, need. Me, personally, I would say uh, my verse, my beat, and a clear mindset. Oh, well said. Well when spoken. I say clear mindset, I mean, like, I got to lock in. You know what I'm saying? Because... Sometimes I do, you know, read off my phone, but a uh, majority of the time I'm coming in there already ready to memorize. Handling business. Yeah, ready, ready I, to I, go. I spe- I, I just, I'm one of those. I can spit any verse I've ever written, ever. Damn. I yeah. only know one other dude like that. From front to back. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I try to um, get myself right before I go there so I ain't wasting no time. That's but, crazy. Uh, you know, sometimes some people, they go to the studio and they just want to chill and stuff like that. I'm cool with that Negative. too, but if I'm paying for that month, yeah, yeah I can chill at home. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Already paid rent. Yeah. Yeah. You, see, yeah. you say the motherfuckers like the chill of city. I'm like, oh, they ain't paying for time. Yeah, <laughs> nah, they're not, man. They're there to hang out. You yeah, yeah. Like that. if you yeah. was, I mean, if you got it like that, see, kudos to you. But yeah, man. but chances are that hourly rate is way more than your hourly rate. Right. You know uh, what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah shit All is right. not cheap. Shut up! Yeah, you didn't pay more than your <laughs> hourly rate. I, I went in there, nice fuck, yeah. Facts, Especially man. when we got regular jobs, we clock out and clock back in. So. Yeah, yeah. I ain't wasting no time, man. Yeah, Come I on. was. Uh, I went to uh, uh, um, uh, Money on a Track on the East Side. If you guys haven't have, haven't been there, you should. He also does does videos that somebody else. You, oh, you guys, B Money. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we yeah. We was just there not that long. Okay, ago. okay. Uh, uh, anyways, I uh, it was recording my last album uh, down there, and I got. Uh, four hours of studio time. I was on the slope, had my shit ready, prepared. I was spitting it, yeah. getting ready. Came home. I drop. I, I I drop like eleven songs in four hours. <sighs> it's like that, it had everything 
laid it all locked just, in. Just, yeah, what just I'm talking about. Yeah, it sounds exhausting. Just it out. He was like, I have, I ain't never had somebody come here and. and and do that, dude. I mean, I'll quit locking. Yeah, I'm paying for this yeah. time. I need to knock this shit out. Yeah, I need to maximize this yeah. this time. Yeah, because I got to say, I got to give you some more bread when it comes time to making this shit sound right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, yeah. wherever I can minimize my expenditures on on it, I'm going to. Even if even if I got to go a little harder yeah. on, on my shit. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So. I mean, because ain't nobody gonna drive your car like you. Yeah, yeah, you damn right. Yeah, yeah. Real shit. Real shit. Yeah. God in damn. A, in a four-hour session. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what we That's trying hard. to do. That's what we trying yeah, to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So why do you think uh, uh, the best rapper live was always debatable? Because it's... <laughs> so, here's the thing. When people say, what's your top five? Good question. What's your top five? What's your top five? I question. feel like... You should have at least two or three different top fives. Yeah. One that you, a top five as far as the skill set. Mm-hmm. As far as like, you know, space. Like a lyricist. Rapping, Songwriting. You should have a five for that. And then you should have a five for your personal favorite. Because that's different. You know what I'm I saying? think so. Like shit you just like to like to play to play and some yeah, shit yeah, you yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. to really listen to. Yeah. Because okay. my, yeah, my, my favorite sense. top five, like my personal top yeah. five, yeah. is not my same top five on. Who I think can rap the best. Since you said that, I'm like, I I I okay. have to agree. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 I have yeah, to yeah. because it's like there's no way I would compare Gucci and Eminem or Jay Z yeah. or there's <laughs> no now. way. Come on now. You got that. that's why I said there has to be. You know, what I'm saying it just depends, but they should be different. Do you listen to uh, majority of rap music? Uh, yeah. Like in the 24 hours a day, when you wake up in your everyday personal life, you bump rap music. Uh, I listen to everything. Everything? Whatever is playing, I'll bump it. If I don't like it, I'll turn that shit off. Fair enough. No, like, we, we, we love music, you know what I'm saying? We always going to play other stuff. Reggae, country, R&B, you know, the slow jams, the oldies. But I think for me personally, it's just rap. Because, you know what I'm saying? I got to listen to what I'm, the lane I'm in. You know yeah, know what I'm to the lane I'm Try in. Try to get some yeah. inspiration. If you're looking for a beat, what are, what are you looking for? It's uh, got a what? It, I feel like everybody can say the same. They got a master vibe. I'm trying to aim for. Well, on, well, of course, but you know what? It's got to have a 808s. It's got to sound like a trap song, or it needs to have. You know, for me, it got. I can understand the vibe. I can it understand sound that. Trap is fun. Uh, it's got. It's got to beat. To trap it's got to beat the trunk. It got. It got a slap. The okay. Speakers in the back got a thump. Mm-hmm. So the, like the reason. The reason me. why I say that is the, the vibe is because sometimes when you when you approach a song, you want it to sound like. Came out in that era. Okay. So if I was to do like, I'm working on a, a West Coast G Funk EP. So that's gonna sound like Warren G, Nate Dogg, and them. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. gonna look for the synth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna look for that rock. But if I'm approaching a song that I want, like you know, uh, some lovey dovey for the females type shit, it gotta match. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it don't thump like the West Coast G Funk, but it gotta match the vibe. The vibe, the vibe you're what it is. going for. You know okay. That's that why I say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That makes sense. And then I turn up shit that we prefer, like to perform in the club and get requested to come. Obviously, I got a thump. You know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that that got be upbeat. It got a thump. So yeah, that's what I mean by master. What do you like to make the most? The club shit's easy to make, huh? Um, I mean, it is because it we match our vibes. For me personally, I like that. I'm, I'm West Coast G Funk. Are you West guys usually? Oh, uh, it depends on who's on it. To that too. Are you guys usually like together at one point with with, with a brand new beat? Coming up with something from a hundred percent scratch, oh, yeah, 100%. or is it, or, or is it just like you, you got the beat, you came up with the hook, and then you share it with the fellas? It's both. It's both. You both? Yeah, yeah it's sure. both. Sometimes you know what I'm saying we be chilling, and then we be like, all right, let's look for some. Boom, they this he he is our hook man right here. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. So he would start humming something. Boom. Once he was like, oh shit, that shit's hard. He start adding words. Yeah, that's how you and fucking while, do it. That's how you make a good hook. It, I'm, Hell I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find a flow. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. trying to find a flow because, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you are the same when you go into a song. You have hella flows. Yeah. You yeah. have hella flows that you want. But it's all about doing yeah. that, that doing a little humming and finding the right. Yeah. Finding that right cadence. Yeah, just that right, that right, it's right. As soon as you right, yeah, find that right little way, you ride that bitch all the way out. Because, yeah. I think a lot of people know that, like, when you listen to your old songs, when you listen to your old songs, 
and like you know it's bumping. Everybody's listening to it. I don't know. Me personally, I feel like oh shit, I could have. You can hear something I different. It up right here. You know yeah, I could have changed the rhyme scheme. You know, to be better. You know, what I'm saying? I, I feel like uh, when you when I play my old songs and I, and I hear like uh, what I could have and should have done at that at that time when I made that song, I couldn't have. True. Because I wasn't as seasoned as I, I hadn't prepared it as much. As much. One thing I I think um, made my delivery a lot bit different than a lot of other people's was that I spent a lot of time outside in in the cold weather, headphones on, walking around and rapping, getting that body movement to. So my my, my delivery is it, it, it's just a little more. It's got a little more. Something something. It's got a little more weight to it right, right. in the back. So I mean, um, I forgot the fuck what we were talking about. Talk about music. I know, no, but oh. the reason why we were talking about what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, shit, what's shit. you smoking? Nah, yeah. Let me have some of that. So if um uh if somebody approached you and said, uh, I like the music you write, but I want you to write for somebody else and oh, ghostwriting. Ghost write. And I'll give you a thousand dollars a song. <laughs> my nigga seriously sure. thinking about that. He's like, I would do it. I, I don't mean, know. I, I would do it. I mean, they do that. But they would need 20 songs written that they get to pick from first before before they, you get this deal. But every song that they pick that they like. They'll give you $1,000 for. Yeah. What, what, what I see, uh, from what I've seen on the internet, was that these uh, major labels will have these brainstorm rooms, these buildings or whatnot that have a bunch of 10 12 rooms not like this where people go and they clock in and they write fucking songs for fucking 10 hours a day and then, <laughs> and then at the end of the day you yeah, just I heard that you, too. you fucking go home and then the label just goes through them and finds the ones they like and then, and then they buy that's them. crazy and they buy them from those people i don't know if you get a thousand dollars for a song but i mean <laughs> that's how it works that's how it that's works for these wild. labels shit for me man if, if, if you don't know how to write your own shit uh, i ain't gonna yeah, I ain't gonna, you know, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. Mess you still with bump that. like a, you still what, bump like Drake or something like that though. It's not that important. Uh, yeah, he don't look like a Drake nigga to me. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fought with Drake, but I, I know he get his shit ring. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think when you, uh, I just feel like that's a business move. After a certain, after a certain, after a certain time, yeah, I, I have to like, agree. If somebody was to pay me a grand to write song, I'm a. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to send it to you. But when the conversation comes on, if you feel like you are a lyricist, your name should not come you up. Should, you should respectfully bow out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Respectfully. Yeah, it's none of your business. It's a business move. You're going to get your money, but when that conversation comes up, you better not yeah. open your yeah, mouth. Yeah, don't be acting like you got bars. <laughs> you open your mouth. Like, respectfully, though. He like, said your mouth. Drinking, drinking all of them, they, they do all that, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes, whatever. They still get their money. They hustle. Yeah, so yeah, I for sure. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, it's all a big, it's a hustle. Shit, it's a grind. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. Get your money. But if you just doing it for the hell of it, you know what I'm saying? You you want somebody to ghostwrite for you for the hell of it. You're not going to drop it or you're not going to do nothing with it. Like, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, that's a waste of your time yeah, and theirs. It's a waste yeah, of yeah. Because I know a sure lot of people. Sure would, enough. I know a lot of people out here that would request a ghostwrite. I think it'd be easier. I mean, I would much rather write for sir for be connected to that database of ghostwriting, write songs, send it in, get paid for them, and not have to deal with the publicity, the public. And I could still walk into Walmart and get my fucking milk and yeah, cookie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That that seems like the way to go. Low key, yeah. I, I, I guarantee, I guarantee you, a lot of them f- super famous ass motherfucking people hate their hate their lives to the fact that they can't get out at the gas station and, and get something if they wanted to. As simple as simple as that. Uh, they, 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 they got to be like, man, I wish I could fucking do that. But I can't do that now. It's unsafe. Oh, shit. I mean, like, I feel like we're getting into the business part of it. We would all want to... We would have aimed for the bag if the fame didn't come with it. But some people... Say that again? The fame, that you... pe- people will try to... Uh, it's more of, like, pe- I, I would say people like us, or me personally... I will get the bag before the fame. Hell yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're good. Yeah. But, then, but then, then I feel like. They hand in hand. There's a lot of people that want the fame. And then there's people who just want to be famous. Yeah. yeah. I just want to be well known. Yeah. A lot of times I, when I uh, did local shows in, in town, I'd, I would sit back and I'd watch some other people. And uh, 
they'd be up there with their sunglasses on and just uh, a little sloppy drunk. They're, they're there to have a good time and feel like their favorite rapper. They're not really there to put on a good show. <laughs> they're not really there to... You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, 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 that's You'll that's see facts. some people out there like Shut that. Shut up. That's, 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 that's facts. For real? That, 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 oh, my God. They're still highly inspired by Meek Mills or Jay-Z or who, whoever their, their inspirations are, and they can rap, but they all they really want to do is go out to the club on a, on, on a Friday, look Saturday like night. And look like Look or and or feel feel have a couple of drinks mingle with some bitches feel like you you the man and then rap on stage and feel like you Lil Wayne. <sighs> oh my god! It's a big it's a big difference between between those people and the people who show up to shut shit down. That is unfortunate to thine own self be true. But I mean, at, at, at the end of the day, everybody's on their own journey and, and wants to take yeah. it to. A, a certain place to it, a certain place. Yeah, that's that might be their pinnacle, and it, they're it great might, with yeah, it. Yeah, and they're fine with that. Yep. And they're fine with that, which is, which is fine. Which is okay. Yeah, yeah no yeah, wrong, yeah. no right. Yeah, if that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, yeah. you is not Drake on a yeah. Friday night downtown Anchorage, okay? <laughs> you can't be out here doing that shit, okay? Take your oh, fucking sunglasses Oh, my off. God, at one thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah stop it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh my man. gosh. So what's, uh, what's up next for you, fellas? Good question, Better Rock. Music wise, what's the next? Um, like music wise, or like what we got going on coming out? What's what what's coming out? What's the next thing I'm gonna see posted that's gonna be new? There we go. Uh, right now we're working on a um, visual that we also shot with Team Mash that uh, is going on the LAN called Rockstar. That sounds and fun. It's we it's a, it's a it's a crowd favorite. It's a crowd favorite, huh? Because um, where's your favorite place to put music? Mm. As far to post what, you, it. what are you posting? What is your main? He's like my, which me, social media site is is your, is your most gets most most of your attention? I would say IG, Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. IG, huh? Yeah, I mean, I keep I'm, hearing stuff about this I Instagram. Too. Yeah, because a, a lot of our fan base is young and high school still, so you know what I'm saying they can't come to the shows. Yeah. That's one of the problems we have. I think out here when I asked earlier, what, 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 do you, what do you think we're lacking? And I think we need we need an outlet for people who are under eighteen to go yeah. places. Right. You know, that would be crazy. I mean, it would change the game for sure. Yeah, man. I mean, we just got and it would be popping. Yeah, we just got game from um, his cousin. Uh, our recent show that we did with Kareg and his pops, um, you know, was dropping some gems because Kareg was with uh, Bird Vision with uh, Roddy Reds. Mm. Okay. Same. And he got a dizzle dazzle and get his feet wet um, being next to him. So when he was telling us, man, we got to hit the high schools. Yeah. Mm, yeah. We hit the high yeah. schools, man. But that also comes with, uh, you know, the type of music that we make. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but we got a lot of PG stuff that we don't really perform. Correct. Because a lot of people want to turn up. Yeah. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We're going to bring that. But we have a lot of PG stuff that we have to offer that still, you know what I'm saying, is a vibe. So. Yeah. That's actually really smart. I mean, I don't. Hmm. If, if I would have, if I would have started rapping in high school, it would have been a complete different game for me. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah, of yeah. starting it out now, because because then you're immediately plugged into that fan base of there's four to six hundred people that come to this building every single day that you have an outlet to share your CDs with, yeah, post, and, share, uh, give uh, your imagine, stickers out. Imagine how many people go to prom. Boom, and then those people, School, dance, like you were saying earlier, leave, and then they go home yeah, they and go talk home. to the four or five other people that live yeah. in the house. It was great. Yeah. 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 And we, we know for a fact we have a big, like a good following. Oh, huge following. base. Yeah, a good following. Of, it's a good following. And that's in different high schools, man. We get hit up all the time that we post our music and stuff like that, but they only see us, you know, post a little snippet of our performance that we did at a 21 plus event. You know oh, saying? yeah. So, I think that's that's what we're trying to do, man. And Interesting to get like a uh, under eighteen show. Yeah, it's kind of it, it, usually more like it uh, in the summertime parking lot type, uh, you know, outside of Coot, something like that. But yeah, you. In order to get to that that level we were talking about, we got to get the get, get the youth able to come to the shows. Yeah, but see, one thing is though is you know, a lot of the youth out here is minorities, so. For them, you know, everybody's been in high school. Your mom not, you're not going yeah, to that. you're not you know? going to that. Yeah. yeah. We got to bring it to the schools. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, you know I'm saying? We got to come to a parking lot because they have no choice but to go there. The third, you know yeah. Know what I'm saying? So, 
I feel like that's that's the best way, and that's something that we're gonna try to tap in. With. I give a I give a lot of these stickers out to the the high school kids in my house and tell them to give them to their friends. Give yeah, you know, yeah, I'm like because yeah, because my, my 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 fan base is our age, twenty th- th- mid thirties. They're not in in the end of these, and I I've already captured them with my brand and, and what I got going on, and now I need to find a new way to tap into another pool of people. And what better way than to the next generation? Yeah, man, because they're the ones that's gonna be in the clubs pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. in the next five, four, so, five years, uh, yeah, three five, years. When, uh. they're, when they're when they're legal to go out and vibe and stuff. yeah, I want to hear that L.A.M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Play that Mike Pillman. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta tap in with the youngest man. Yeah, Hi- highly important, especially in, in the hip hop scene. Yeah, man, and they're the ones who support us too. You know, they run up the streams, they listen to it every day. Yeah. So why are we not gonna show that little back? You know what I'm saying. Do you feel like these um, streaming platforms pay you uh, what you're worth per song? Personally, per, per a stream, say say if you're getting point zero zero six of a penny for a, one stream. Jesus Christ. Or if you're making, not worth it. <laughs> if you're making thirty, no. if, yeah. if if they give you sixty cents for every song that you sell, I oh, don't know, man. Because I mean, you could sell a song hundred thousand times, for but me, yeah, uh, it is worth it because before the shit, I wasn't getting nothing. nothing? No, okay, now you get something. Yeah, oh, see, you know okay, what I'm like for me to see the progress, man, that shit's hella worth it for me. I, I know uh, as time goes on. Cause you know what I'm saying, my music, our music, is it, it's not bad music. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's definitely good, for sure. Yeah, do, you can rock do to good it. Good quality music, and it should be worth a good amount. You know what I'm saying? But for now, like I take whatever comes. You know, yeah. As far as you know, what I'm saying these outlets, these platforms that are actually paying us for us to put our shit on there. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm with all that right now. Yeah, because it takes it to a different part of where we're not. You know what I'm saying? Have you guys uh, got some merch printed off and sold it at a show yet? No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. To, we're working, no, we're but, working on it. That needs to be one of things you're working on. That, that, that Because you sure. already got enough people in the crowd who have an LAM shirt. Yeah. Plus the people on the stage who got them. And that's going to tell me, the other guy in the crowd who doesn't have one, that's liking the music that you're playing, and I see it at the table, I can get me a fucking hoodie for $35, dollars $40, nice. $45. Oh, yeah, we, we, we're definitely get that. working on that. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. And I could wear it to yeah. class. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know. Tough. Yeah. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I like that you did that song with your dad, and, and he's uh, he he's, uh, he's also Cisco. Yeah. So, so is, that, is that where you got your name from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. also my, you know, that's my other name. So your whole life? Yeah. You've had it? Okay, that's yeah. what I was wondering. If you, yeah, yeah. you've been rocking with your whole life. Because I've seen the, the, the art with the picture of your dad and you on the on the Instagram. That's yeah, where yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, I said, yeah. oh, okay. And big, he's Cisco, too. Yeah. A big, big, big Cisco. Big, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're exactly. Cisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the big homeboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Show up. <laughs> Show good. up. Oh, man. Um, what do you, what do you think is the most impactful for you? Uh, doing shows, making a song, or making a video? Uh, good question. Um, I was me personally. I would say show. Um, because that really show, showcases your shit. It, it showcases it, and you know what I'm saying. I get to to look at the people who's fucking with my shit. I can <laughs> see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah. Hand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And maybe somebody that didn't know who I was. Was there. Was there. Was there. And to see them dancing and stuff, and then they come to me afterwards, like, yo, where can I find you? Like, yeah. I feel like that's what really pushes, you know. Yeah, the growth. Keep on going, the growth, you know okay. Being active. See it firsthand, you know what I'm saying? Do you think it's, uh, it, it's really worth it for someone to stop just recording into their in their closet or in in their home? To actually go out into the, the community, into the scene, look for a show, become an active local artist? Like, it, like there's definitely a difference between. Oh, most definitely, yeah. What you're you, getting, you gotta, getting you gotta put that footwork. You know what 
house. Yeah, you, you have, have to leave your fucking house. You can't there. just. A, a, a lot of people will, will will stay at home, record in their closet, which is fine. Record your songs however you you want to, but you still need to take that shit and come out. It's got to get out. You got to be active. You got to come out to a show, find out who's putting these shows on. Say, hey, I want a slot. Can I get a slot? I got a slot. I'll be here next Friday, and and mingle with these people who are out here chasing the same dream you are. Mm. Build build these relationships with these people out here because they're that, trying to get gotta just like do you. the footwork, man. That's where the that passion counts. comes in, man. That's where that passion comes yeah. in. Mm-hmm. The footwork counts. You can't man. expect nothing out of it if you're just staying home in your, in your basement. Huh, yeah. but that's only that's just a hobby. Just, just a hobby. posting shit on the web and shit, huh? That it don't. You got to get out here. I mean, I know people who do it though, but they hard as fuck, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, I know quite a few people who are um, really good at rapping, like way better than me, but have zero drive or no no natural hustle to, to, to put something together. So it takes a lot to make this thing shake. Yeah. Right. You, know, you, you know what I'm saying? It does. Hell like, I mean, yeah. There, 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 there's some people who, who got way better bars than me, can, can come up with way better songs than me, but they have zero drive to manufacture a CD, put it out, and then actually go out and hit the streets with it and sell it. And that's too much. I, I'm not doing I've had quite that. a few rap rap homies. I've seen their their, their album release die in their back seat. You in know what I'm saying? In their back seat. In their back seat, unsold, never never pushed out, just a waste of what, what whatever it cost to, to press those CDs up because they didn't, they made a CD and it didn't push it. <laughs> they didn't get it out. There. They thought it was just going to sell itself. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. They don't. It don't. It don't. It's a slow grind, but it's a grind. It's worth it. It's worth That's it. That's crazy. Um, we're gonna wrap this up and then come back with the uh, random random questions. You guys control with that? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Good time so far. I got. I got to get pissed. But I, gotta I figured. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I got two of these already. <laughs> yeah. uh, this uh, this podcast is sponsored by Exclusive Empire K Nines. You hit them on the Instagram. You see the link on the thing. We got L A M in the building. We're about to come back and answer these random world questions. We out. All right. Ow. Don't make me walk this chopper. Big, big whip, you know we ride it. No place for you to hide in. Drop location and we slide it. Don't make me walk this chopper. Out. Don't IG flex, we cool and pull a hop out with them shooters. Boy, you gon' make me do this, please. Please, please.